Hello, everybody. My name is Sebastian, and today I'm going to talk to you about K6, the open source load testing framework from uh, Grafana. And uh, I have two objectives today. I want to quickly tell you what K6 is and what you can do with it, and also how it integrates with the uh, Elixir ecosystem, and especially LiveView. And then, if you're interested, uh, I have some suggestions for improving the library, which I'm about to do. And if you want to help, then feel free to hit me up. With uh, K6, as I said, it's a load testing tool. Um, so what you can do is you can implement a HTTP GET. And as you can see here, K6 is uh, written in uh, JavaScript. So you need to write some JavaScript for this. Um, but nonetheless, you implement, a, for example, in this case, a HTTP GET, and then you sleep. And if you execute K6, what you get back is a very fancy way of telling you how the load test went. So what it will do, it will, it will um, spin up very ma many virtual users, which you can configure. So you can say, I want 100 uh, parallel users hitting my app. And then you can implement workflows of what these users are going to do. And afterwards, you get a report of what they actually did, what your, what your um, uh, numbers were, so you can specify specific timeouts, you can um, actually increase the users and decrease the users, so you can say, well, I have a spin-up period where um, the users go up and they increment a little bit and then they stay very high and then they drop a little bit again. So uh, in addition to just testing like 100 users for a short period of time, you can also do this concurrently over 30 minutes, for example, to see if you have any memory leaks in your application or any other th stuff which comes up when there is a high load over a long period of time instead of just like 100 users and then it's, it's gone again. In Elixir, we have this nice Elixir K6 library, which was developed at SpawnFest 2021, I think. And what it does, it's a neat little wrapper. It downloads K6 in the background. It gives you some mixed tags, so you don't need to interact with K6 directly, but you can just type uh, mix run K6, mix K6 run, something like this. And you'll also have some templates, which give you a little bit of a scaffolding for REST, GraphQL, LiveView. They have a lot of templates, which give you a little bit of a kickstart, but then they don't actually help you any further. So there is where you need to come in and uh, actually implement all the specific stuff you want to do. And how this looks with a live view is, for example, like this. You can actually send events. So K6 doesn't have a browser, so you cannot actually click around. But you need to do what the JavaScript in your browser does. So for example, send events to the live view. And in this type, we, we send a chart init event. And then you need to handle the response. And this is where it gets ugly, because this is how it looks like for us. If you want to evaluate the, the response from, from LiveView, because what LiveView gives you back is um, uh, the actual um, thing. It needs to render the HTML. So it's not actually an API which you are supposed to consume, just like a REST API. but more for the, for the live view JavaScript part. So there you run into problems, or at least it's, not, it's ugly. And as soon as you change the HTML, HTML, this breaks. So you need to go into your, your developer console again and um, then uh, need to figure out where this, where this value is again. So this is where I would like to actually, my, my vision currently is to see if we uh, if I, if we, if somebody wants to join, uh, can get in and make this nicer, add a little bit of JavaScript helpers, which can autom automatically generate it from the, from the uh, live view, and then provide some, some neat little helpers. So to, instead of um, this, get to more of a, um, get me some, some kind of feedback from the, from the server, and then I'll be, uh, um, then you can evaluate it. I'm not sure if this will work and how it will work, but um, I'll try. And if you want to join me, get in touch. Otherwise, try K6. It's a great library, even without the, the new stuff on top. It's uh, currently working very, very good. We use it in production, or not in production, as in we hit our production, but we hit a, a pre-production environment with it. 
And yeah, awesome. Thank you very much.